Hey guys, uh, Homeward Brief number five. So this is for Saturday the 28th of March, uh, 2020. Hopefully we don't go more than <laughs> 2021 20, with these things. Um, but if you've got all the gear for tomorrow, we're gonna do um, kind of like a, a buy-in, sandwiched in the middle with some thrusters or some work, and then a buy-out at the end. So the buy-in for tomorrow is 30 cows on the bike. Uh, we can also drop that back respectively um, as required for the, for the calories and for the ladies. Uh, we could also exchange the bike for a rower. After we've done that, we're gonna do 21 toaster bars. So it'll be three rounds, calories on the bike, toaster bar, so we'll do that three times. Then in the middle, we have three sets of 15 thrusters, increasing with weight as they go. Throw your eyes on modify for the, uh, for the weight increments that, that are required, and just get close enough to it. Now with the weights for that sandwich bit in the middle for the thrusters, the first round, we should be looking at a weight where you could go unbroken for those 15. The second round, you might need to take one break at most two. And on the third round, it's gonna be at most two breaks. So we wanna sort of be able to probably do sets of uh, five, or definitely not go any less than sets of three on that last round. Otherwise you're gonna get capped out. It's a 30 minute cap total. Once we've completed the thrusters, we are then gonna go and jump back on the bike and do another three rounds, but this time, instead of doing toes to bar, we're going to do bar facing burpees. If you don't have room, uh, you could do a lateral burpee over the bar or just regular burpees is also uh, an option for tomorrow. For the home gym workouts, the first one we have is a 25 minute AMRAP, and that is increasing um, in repetitions for an air squat and maintaining the same distance for a run. So the air squat goes 10, 20, 30, continuing to add 10 until we run out of time at the 25 minute mark and the run is 400 meters. So this is something we're gonna just wanna keep moving for the whole time. When you get to that 20 minute mark, that's when we're really gonna start pushing for that last five minutes to, to get as much intensity out of the workout as possible. Our second option or our no running option is four time, so it's not an AMRAP, it's four time. And uh, it's gonna be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 of the air squat. And um, in between that, we're sandwiching in 50 double unders. So it'll go 10 air squats, 50 doubles, 20 air squats, 50 doubles, 30 air squats, 50 doubles. Now, um, if you can't double under, uh, that's okay. We can use any sort of cardio equipment if you've got that, um, if you can't run. If you need to, you can grab your push bike and do a distance ride on your push bike if you can't run or double under. Um, now the reason we've kept that uh, to the 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 and capped it is due to the amount of double unders um, and also the squats. So we don't want an excessive amount of double unders. That's still 350 doubles, but if we kept going for 25 for a 25 minute AMRAP, we can really start jacking up that volume on both the squat and the double unders. So um, the double unders are gonna be a lot faster than a 400 meter run, if you can do them. And that can potentially then cause more rounds, more squats, more volume. So we're gonna try and bring that back a little bit. Now, um, Substitutions for the double unders. Uh, I would recommend doing single skips, but then uh, attempting a double under at least every 10 single skips. So try for that double under every 10 single skips and count whether you miss it or not. Just keep counting and work your way through. Try not to spend any sort of uh, any more than sort of that one minute to maybe one minute 20 on the double unders. That'll be that'll be ample time um, to practice your skipping uh, and then get back to those air squats. Alrighty. Um, hey guys, it is Saturday tomorrow. Most of the kids are gonna be off school. Actually, all the kids are off school. But from then on, most of the kids are gonna be off school as well. We haven't done any programming for the kids yet. So if you've got your kids at home, the beauty of most of these at home workouts is that they can just jump along in with you. So really scale that weight back. Don't give them anything too heavy to lift. Um, the, the kids don't benefit the same weight from adults in terms of adding resistance to movement. So. It's, uh, we're trying to look at increasing their fitness through having them move really well. So try and get them squatting really good, try and get them um, doing everything perfect with their body, and then that way um, that's gonna improve their strength and fitness as it is. And then when they get a bit older, through those teen years, we, we start adding a little bit of weight for those guys. So 
But for now, um, get your kids involved, have a heap of fun, um, go after it tomorrow, and um, yeah, we'll see you on Monday.